And now Kelly has some great advice about an age-old problem, especially at this time of year, fleas. Hey, nice to see you again, Kelly. And you? Fleas are hideous. It's, you've all been away on holiday and you come back into the house and the vibrations hatch the eggs, don't they? That's right, and everyone all of a sudden can't understand where they've come from, uh, why they're now flea infested and um, yeah it's because obviously those eggs have been sitting in your carpet or maybe in your furnishings uh, ready to pop out. They are awful. <laughs> so what kind of treatments are there? Uh, lots of different ones on the market. So popular ones are the spot-ons that go on the back of the neck, the little droplets. Yeah. Um, newer ones on the market now are more a tablet form. So they're either a monthly dose or a um, three-month dose now as well. So the three-monthly ones obviously makes life easy and easier for people. Yeah. Um, so I tend to say if you're going to do a three-month dose, um, yeah, time it when you check your fire alarms as well. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yes, yeah, so seasonal. We use the the pills on our dog, and they can seem expensive, but if you actually work it out, uh, not having those fleas, that they're actually okay, aren't they? Yeah, the problem is, it, as soon as you get fleas in the household, and they're obviously bouncing around and hatching everywhere, you've then got to start actually flea bombing the house as well, and a lot of people do miss that, that concept. Sorry, she's trying to drink my coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> she obviously likes the cafe coffee, don't you? Um, and so what we tend to find, yeah, is all of a sudden, you know, the cost starts to mount up. And worst case if you can't get rid of them with the flea bombs and you've got to get in the the big guys and you know they're gonna have to then spray the whole house and try and kill them off. Nuke the place. So you're gonna show us where we should be looking though for the flea the flea dirt you call it which is the flea poop isn't it? It is. Yep. We're giving our dogs a bit of a comb. Hey, yeah Zoe. so um, you can use uh, just a standard flea comb you can get these from your veterinary clinic or um, even you know from the pet stores. I've used a child's knit comb before on it. Use a knit comb. Well. Yeah even just a normal brush is fine and I tend to say Zoe's now leaning on her bum so she obviously doesn't want us to get there but <laughs> Usually it's around the bottom area and um, what you tend to do is give it just a really good brush. Yeah. You can't be bothered standing up, can you? She's like, oh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> She's like, I can't be doing with this. I'm the star. Um, and then normally what you can do is then you'll start to pull off the fur and the dirt that's sitting at the bottom yeah. there onto a moist cotton wool um, or even a paper towel. Um, as you can see, this is one I did prepare earlier. And um, the dirt on there is normal dirt because it hasn't turned to a, a ready brown. If it turns to a ready brown then that's the flea poo which um, contains the blood it's eaten from the animal. That's really good. I didn't know that. So, yeah. so, so that's you can see if your dog's got fleas. Yeah. Or you can roll your dog over sometimes and you know if you, you see if, them running sometimes as well. Yeah. It's very hard to keep them away sometimes when they're out running around in the in the long grass all the time and they pick them up again and bring them back inside. It's a relentless cycle, isn't it? Yeah, so you should really be treating all year round. A lot of people get into a bit of a not not necessarily a bad habit, but more of oh it's cold, it's winter, we don't need to treat for fleas. Um, but you really should just keep it up. And especially as we're coming into a, a springtime, the humidity starts to increase and yep those eggs start to hatch oh yeah and no what there is nothing good about fleas that I can think of at all if anyone can think of it no there's nothing good about fleas they're just <laughs> awful so what should we be doing to make sure that our houses do stay flea free um, so certainly like I say first thing is always treat your pet keep keep up with that all year round that includes your cats as well um, because certainly they go out and about uh, things like you know your gardening whether you're a bit of a green fingered person or get the gardener in uh, just make sure the lawn's nice and short all the bushes are trimmed and um, and also more than anything just be aware that if you do put certainly things like the spot on um, mm -hmm. on the back of the neck of the animals don't bath them straight away that's quite a common mistake people make and um, they don't give enough time frame for for it to absorb right. or um, they let the animal go swimming okay. into the beat, you know, in the sea. Well, we have our dog going under our house all the time, which is a nightmare, but I will take some of that advice on board. Thank you so much, Kelly. A pleasure and always good to see you too, Zoe. Yeah. You're such a well-behaved <laughs> young lady. Well, actually, and she's rather an old lady now, isn't yeah. she? How old is she? 14. 14. Good going, Thanks. Zoe. Good going. Thanks so much, <laughs> Kelly. Now, for more info, head along to your vet.